This came on the vanilla extract uh, or vanilla prepared dough bait. This channel did. Pretty good fish. What's up everybody? Jack Cats Fishing here. Welcome to today's episode. I am on South Chickamauga Creek and today we're going to be going for catfish and carp. I have this bait here called Magic Bait Vanilla Prepared Dough Bait. I had this on one of my mystery tackle boxes and I thought, huh, why not try to see if we can get some catfish and carp. And this is a, like I said, a prepared dough bait. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this to use and see what we can get. So here's what it looks like. Just like this. And the carp will take it and the hook is right here. Now I'm pretty new to using hair rigs, but this is what it looks like. And guys, it is not very potent. So I'm gonna put it in a vanilla imitation extract just to kind of give it a little more flavor. But before I do that, let's put the pack bait on. The pack bait is our chum. So I'm only gonna use a little bit, just enough to cover the method feeder. And we're gonna dip this in there just to give it a little bit more flavor. And then after we do that, we put this right here inside the pack bait. Kind of buried in there. And then it looks like this. So we're gonna see if this magic bait will catch us a carp or catfish. I'll be happy with either. We have a slow current, but down in here, it's like 10 to 15 feet. So there should be some carp around. We have some logs coming out of the water. We have a down tree down this way and carp like structure, just like catfish do. And I'm not gonna cast this very far. I'm just gonna flob it. Right there should be good. Now guys, I could have chummed the area using corn, but the method feeder is just what's been working for me. Set my drag loose, because I don't have a bait runner. It's just what I'm dealing with right now. So we got that one. And for the other rod, which is a lighter setup, this one here has 20 pound monofilament line. This one is 10 pound main line. So it's a little lighter. We're still in the dog days of summer. It's like 95 outside. It's one of the reasons why I came to this dock because I have shade. And I don't want to be sitting out in the sun. And I'm not even casting far. I'm more just flobbing it out there. All right, guys, now we just wait. I got the drag set pretty loose, so it will allow the carp or the catfish to take off with it without losing the rod. So yeah, now we just wait. Stay tuned. Something may be eating around the chum, but let's see here if he takes it. Yep. on hold on a second let's see if you'll stay on here this is right on the magic bait wait i think it may be a catfish now
took about an hour Pretty sure it's going to be a channel cat. Yep. It's a fish. Catfish. It's actually a pretty good one too. Looks like a channel. good eating fish. we go guys this came on the vanilla extract uh or vanilla prepared dough bait this channel did pretty good fish i'd probably say three pounds he's long good size eater or good eating size catfish so we're gonna go and release him back to the depths this is what we're using it's kind of like a marshmallow I'm just going to put it right in there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and call it quits. Just one channel catfish and two hours of fishing. I didn't have much time to commit today. But this bait here caught us a fish. So I've never tried the magic bait dough bait until now. And it produced. So I ended up using the pack bait, as you saw, just to kind of create the chum. And this was the bait that was actually on the hair rig. Just want to emphasize that. You're not going to catch a giant catfish on it. You may get a giant carp, but uh, as far as catfish, I would say anywhere from one to 10 pounds. And who knows, you may get something bigger, but typically speaking, on a normal day, you're going to get eater size catfish. It's just, I think it's what it's used for, but it works. And you can get these at Walmart, Dick Sporting Goods. And like I said, I got this in the mystery tackle box and I thought, hey, why not try it? So I'm gonna go ahead and reel this one in. As always, give a thumbs up for this video and we'll see you later.